Good evening, everyone. I'm James Landon. I'm from Power Tech Energy, and what we do is create efficient engineering solutions. So today, what I wanted to talk to you about was water. So I think when everyone hears water, what they think of is the ocean. They think of fresh water coming out of their tap. They may think of a Brita water filter, but I want to talk about a different type of water today, and that's water that's used in laboratories across the country. So water is the most commonly used solvent in laboratories. It actually constitutes about 99% of the mass of those solutions, and the quality of that water is directly correlated to how good your experiments are. And so there are hundreds of thousands of labs across the world and in this country, and what these use are millions of gallons of water. So the purity of this water directly correlates to how good your experiments are run and what happens as far as your chemistry. So what's the current problem today? Well, the current problem is that it's really expensive. So current methods uh, use large capital costs to create their, their separation process, they have large operational costs, and they have large maintenance uh, costs and replacement parts. So these are the complicated systems that are currently used today, and they're composed of these membrane distillation processes. But I'm not going to go into detail on what that is. I'm going to go over what our solution is today, and it's really a whole different way of actually doing that water treatment process. So what we have is a small separation device, and that's shown right here, that's our prototype. And what this uses is small amounts of electricity to purify your water. This has lower capital costs to build it compared to our competitors. It has lower energy costs in comparison to them as well. Um, and this separation process then can lower your energy costs for that separation by over 1,000%. I know that sounds like a large number, but due to the difference in that separation process, that's actually a viable scenario for this. So this will save millions of dollars per year in that lab, that lab water cost. It reduces your carbon footprint, and it's gonna really increase that lab output that goes on in America today. So how big is the water treatment market across the world? Well, it's really a massive market. Uh, if you look at just water desalination, that's removing salt from water, um, you look at Saudi Arabia, and they actually desalinate water on the order of 1.5 million gallons per day. If you look at America, we're up over a million gallons per day. So that's a big, big market alone. And if you look overall at the water treatment market, if we look at coal plants around Kentucky and what they have to deal with, wastewater treatment from those plants is really a trillion dollar industry. If you go down to just the global market, excluding that wastewater market, you're talking about $360 billion. If you, if you parse that even further, what you can see is that chemicals, process equipment and systems, and those consumables, those are related to your lab, your lab water scenarios. And that alone is a $5 billion market. So water is pretty integral to a lot of the stuff that we do. And that alone is a very big piece of it. So what do we think this is gonna cost us? Uh, for lab prototypes, what we're looking at is um, initially about $700 per unit. As it goes towards commercial production, we think we can bring that down to about $200 per unit. Um, these retail currently for about $5,000. Sometimes you can get as low as $3,000, sometimes as high as $7,000. But again, I mentioned that our capital costs are far below what those competitors are. And so if you look across our country, you're talking about, again, 100,000 laboratories at least. And that total market just from those labs that I've mentioned here is $500 million. So it's, it's a big market to get into. Um, what are the current complaints? So these have been around for a long time and currently they're using these processes, so maybe they work. But if you, if you talk to people in labs, they have a lot of problems with them. There's high replacement costs, there's um, loudness, they're cumbersome, and there are a lot of other things that we can go into with that. So who's our competition? It's not really those membrane processes that are used today because I told you that already they're actually a very different type of process. Um, the only one that's comparable is one that's called Voltea in the Netherlands, and theirs is actually more capital cost, it's got more operational costs, and it isn't as versatile as what we're talking about here. So who's the team? The team's composed of, mainly it's composed of a lot of scientists. So I'm a scientist, and the first two people on this team are also composed of scientists. What we've started doing is adding on more business people to help build out our actual product and build out the market, and that's Don Chalman noted here. If you look at our advisory team, that's composed of an array of different people at this point. So we have Nethering Technologies, it's a small business that's agreed to help with this. They're gonna help with manufacturing and sales and marketing. We have Graph Tech to help make the material. That's a company in Ohio that can help with manufacturing. We need advisors, people like Scanty, who can help with startup mentoring and business development. And we have Duke Energy and LG and KU who have big water treatment markets that have already expressed interest in this type of technology. So what's next? Well, the first thing is we need to bring a device to market. And the idea is to do that in 2014. What we plan to do is try to get up to 25 devices made where you can sell those for that $5,000 mark to get up to $125,000. We need angel investors and we need to build out those strategic partnerships in that water treatment industry and really transferring our technology from the university to the market. And this is kind of a look at our future progression. So in summary, what we have is this large pervasive problem 
Our solution is valuable, it's cost effective, and it's far different from what's out there today. It works and it's scalable, and really we're gonna be profitable early due to the difference in what this technology is. So we need to just help build out that, that business and establishing key marketing connections overall. So thank you and I'll take any questions.